Good morning everybody and welcome back to day two of February Halftime Study With Me. Just gonna enjoy my breakfast, watch a YouTube video. I might blow dry my hair because it's quite damp. <laughs> I had a shower this morning. Then we'll get going shortly. Okay, so it's just gone half nine. I've finished my breakfast and I've made my to-do list. So there's yesterday's. Um, got some things left over from that, but here is today's. I'm trying to choose what to start with, right? Because these are all topics that I don't like. I don't know why, but Tuesday just became the day of my plan where I just put every topic that I'm not a fan of. Start with uncertainties, just because it won't take long. It's just making some notes so I can revise from them. Success! So I found it. Awesome! did my uncertainties notes. Uh, it didn't take too long actually, I also did an example from the textbook, but I completed everything to meters right, because I thought you had to use standard units, um, but they left the whole thing in centimeters, but I did the conversion and I'm still right, but isn't that quite annoying? Next step is to find my glasses because my eyes hurt and then I think I'm gonna do transformations, get it out of the way, because I really do not like that topic. Glasses are on, maps time. transformation stuff so i worked through the textbook and did nearly all of the questions that were in there and then i went on maths diy and done about half of the topic bank that they have that so that's probably enough i think i get it i think i just need to keep practicing it so i ticked it off and next i'm gonna do complex numbers complex numbers i have a love-hate relationship with. Normally hate, <laughs> but I mean, we'll give it a go. So I need to work out what I'm going to do because complex numbers is such a big topic and I think I need to do it all. those questions don't come up too often. I'm gonna go onto my computer now and then find past paper questions, print them off, and then I'm gonna do them. And about half an hour later, we have every single complex number question for WJC and OCR MEI from 2006 to 2018, I think. That took a bit of time. I'm not sure if all of them are gonna be useful, but might as well work through them all as this is good. Obviously not going to do them all today. I'm going to do seven questions today. I think seven's a good number. Also, what do you think of my new shirt? I went to a Dylan concert and I bought this. I really like it, so I'm quite happy with this purchase. There's so many. Oh, okay. It's fine, it's fine. We'll just start here and work our way through.
questions. I think I spent about 50 minutes on it, but it's well past one. So I think I'm gonna go have lunch now and just take a break. I'm actually starting to understand the complex numbers. So I think that's a miracle in itself. The one thing I keep forgetting to do though, I'll show you, it's really stupid. When we get to the end of all of this, I always forget to take that number across which meant that I got all of this wrong, so I redid it. These questions aren't too bad. These ones take a long time, but they're usually worth quite a few marks. And um, the, the roots ones are getting really boring. I'll see you guys after lunch. Bye. So this is the food that I made, and I'm really excited to eat it and my dessert. I am back in my study. I'm ready to do more fever maths. I properly plan the rest of my day now. Yeah, back to complex numbers. It's really repetitive so I'm gonna go away for a bit do all these questions and then show you what I've done later on. Straightening my hair was not on the schedule but I needed to honestly I hated the way that my hair was looking and this feels so much better. And this, and this, this, this one which took ages, this one and that one. I think that's job well done on complex numbers for now and what are we gonna do? Physics flashcards next. I've realised a slight problem. I use my whiteboard for flashcards because I feel like it tests me more, but I've written the timetable on my whiteboard. It's a bit of a predicament. I have to rewrite my timetable on another bit of paper so I can use my whiteboard. Oops. Okay, that has been put on to this bit of paper. We can rub all of this off and then do our flashcards. Whoop. Did my capacitance flashcards five past four and I have a break until half four. I'm gonna go make a cup of tea or a hot chocolate and just relax for a bit. Perhaps the easiest thing I'll take off today. I screenshotted some questions that I found online, so I'm gonna try these now. Basically, the plan is to try and figure out whether I can tell which hypothesis method to use based on the wording. If after these I, I can't tell, then I'll go from scratch. But if I can tell some more than others, then I don't have to revise them as much, if that makes sense. <laughs> months to sort this out so it's been an hour and i realized it's pancake day i'm not gonna be able to finish all my work because i'm gonna be making pancakes which is arguably a lot more fun i made my hypothesis poster and it's printing now which you can definitely hear so i'll stop filming so here it is very helpful so i'm gonna be using this and trying more questions to see if it'll help i think it definitely will but i'll get back to you in a bit whether it actually has made a difference or I've wasted time. Oh no, it is too pretty to say that I've wasted time. <laughs> Three 
questions and all of them were a lot easier. This has really helped. And so like when I when I read a question, I'm like, okay, two variable or one variable. Once I've established that, it's like, is the variance given? Oh, it is. Use this one. Is the variance not given? Okay. But does it give us an unbiased variance? Yes, okay, use this one. Is n large? Okay, use this one. I figured it out. I've cracked the key. I'm probably gonna stop here. It's seven now. And it is pancake day and I really want pancakes. Yeah, I'm gonna stop studying now, but I might do a little bit after pancakes. Depends how I feel. pancakes um <laughs> it was really fun they started off awful at first but they got better and that's all the fun of pancake day it's quarter past nine so i don't really know if i want to do any more work i might just stop here because i did everything on my to-do list for today i just didn't do the bits from yesterday i hope you enjoyed the second installment of my study with me february half term series thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye